uh, see one of the most innovative albums have been uh, for Johnny Kadda immensely different when you uh, when i saw it personally i felt that it was something different what what you have done earlier so any thoughts on that any anything and it could be that's a normal reaction that we get for every uh, most of the albums that we do okay um when we did twenty uh, or bubbly that's the reaction we got in with the salami ish the same reaction we got johnny gaddar um, kal hona ho so it's been a effort to make it different or it just turned out to be different i, I think so so what tends to happen is that with uh, with bollywood and indian films there's always been a formula which everyone follows and i think very few actually have stepped out of that formula you know uh, so. i mean coming to the same question just to follow it up how detailed are the inputs from the director i mean and who do you think has been more you know has been very you know he has been giving you the most input for the visualization it's very important that you need to visualize before coming to you know, a particular song i mean mm -hmm. without that without a background it's not possible i mean who do you think has been great See, it works both ways what happens is when we create the song uh the song dictates certain visuals uh, most of the times what happens is when we are creating the song the director has a vague impression of what he's going to create but then as the song is getting created and as it is cooking you know in his brain the visuals also start developing okay. you know and Yeah. And then by the end of the song, by by the time we have, we are ready with the song, he is ready with yeah, yeah. you know the visuals and what he wants to do. Then he adds his input that I want this over here, I want this over there. This is what is happening. This is a travel, like in for example in Tari Zameen, but from the first uh, Mukra to the Antra when it goes, he says I am traveling by bus and there is this kid over there and you know it's it's a, I I need like a travel kind of music. So these kind of inputs are there. And the song pretty much sets up uh, I think for a lot of the visuals automatically generates. And I think some some directors can read into that much more stronger than some of the other directors, and, and that is a very important part of making film. I think for at least the way we analyze it from our perspective as as a, as a musician, you put something there, but it's a director who can uh, should actually be able to home and and you know extract a lot from there. Um, you've been asked this question a lot many times, but you all come from a different you know school of music, everything. How did you guys come together? Oh God, <laughs> advertising, yeah, uh, basically. Okay. I was a singer, and they were already reputed composers in okay. the air industry, and okay. I came in as a singer. Okay. And then it just clicked, yeah. And uh, uh, we didn't sign any agreement or anything like that. It just, just took off, and one thing led to the other. And okay. Um, any particular film which actually got you into the four per se? Like, well, would you call it Kalu Ho Na Ho, or do we call it Dil Chata or something? I think Some Dil Chata was definitely a turning point. because it was a fresh fresh film a fresh sound uh, and they both worked in tandem so okay i'll just quote something like music uh, music here is dependent on the success of the movie do you think it's applicable or I'm unfortunately coming? yes in this country but also also not i mean i would like to differ there because even salami is the film do well but the music is done very well Coming to very, that. Very well. Coming to that. Yeah. Do you feel no, sad? No, but again, again. Jhumra Rabal for the movie. Jhumra Rabal. Yeah, but what I feel is, had the movie been successful, ah, that much film bigger should have been ten times more. Yeah. It is successful because it is a Shankar Rajan or something. Not that it makes and a difference. And it is a, it is a big, uh, it, it's, a, it's a good soundtrack. But once a film becomes big, you know, it just goes into another league. And is it painful when you see a movie not doing well and your music being appreciated or? I mean, is it correlated, or do you think, or it's a separate thing? It becomes a separate thing altogether. It's painful time. when when you actually have written something nice and you expect it uh, to to reach a certain height, and it does not because of bad pictureization or a bad interpretation or a, or, or a bad film. Bad or a bad film. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, Zoom Barabar Zoom is a very good example. The music But was one of the yeah, top. Very, in, in, in all honesty, personally, I think we all like really like the film. We really like the film. I don't know why yeah, everybody yeah, just you know. I mean, There are three, four others on a side who also liked it, but they are not yes, banned from talking over it. I guess that's debatable. <laughs> It's debatable, yeah. And when you collaborate, as no, no. I think if some uh, maybe a French director or an Italian director or somebody from there would have made a film like this, there's a very yeah, clear no yeah. man. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it, it can happen. I it think you can, can go on. Uh, yeah, actually, there's also a lot. There's a lot, lot of conditioning which has actually taken place over over the years as to how a particular film should be. So it's a kind of Catch twenty two situation. You are trapped, and you want to be free at the same. See, you, you experiment with anything over here, mm. it becomes uh, completely. It it is treated as junk. But whereas okay. if somebody experiments from from the west or something, then you know suddenly it becomes oh, what a hip thought, what a new thought, and what a what an attempt. Uh, new wave cinema.